Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do another collective haul for you guys. Basically I think I'm going to do this every month just to show you what I've been spending my money on. Um, but yeah, so um, I've got mainly makeup this time. I have got a couple clothing items that I thought I'd throw in and also I, I bought myself a new purse. So actually let's start with that, shall we? Basically, uh, when I went to Reading Festival, if you're like, Alice, you went to Reading Festival? I have a vlog, I'll link it down below. Oh my god, I've got a hair right in my face, that's running right on me. Anyway, so I didn't want to take my big uh, Ted Baker purse to Reading with me. Um, hang on, I did just have it a minute ago. Here is my old purse right here. It's pretty big and as you can see it's jam-packed full of stuff that quite frankly I don't need. So I took a little uh, purse that I just had lying around my house um, and then I felt liberated quite frankly. I was like, actually I don't need all this stuff all the time, not just for when I'm in a festival, like, I, I don't need this stuff all the time. So I decided to spend a little money, buy myself a nice little purse that will last me ages. Anyway, so I turned to Comme de Garçon and I got their little pouch. This is just their standard pouch. I've got a whole host of them though, but I just went for the classic black. I really wish that they did it with black and silver, but they do it with black and gold. But as I said, I still bought it. So if I push all my cards to one side, like this is where the cards end. So it's just a little bit, this bit basically, I don't know if you can see there's like a little extra corner bit which basically is this is where the cards finish um and i've been really loving it i just think it's really nice and simple although the insides of my bags are black so it's been a little bit harder to find in my bag but you know i i think i've had a big purse for years and i just fancy something a little bit different and literally all i've got in here are the cards that matter my id my credit cards my boots card and a little bit of cash how much cash do I have? This is a what's in my purse right here. Got £1.86. Woo! I wanted to mention it because it's simple and easy and everything that you need uh, in a purse and yeah. I like it. Moving on to clothes, it's mid-season sale time and I have picked up one sale piece and this is actually from ASOS but it's from the brand Love and Lies which I have never heard of before. You thought I'd get through this haul without a stripy top didn't you? You silly billy. Anyway, uh, so this is actually a body. Uh, let me tell you why this striped t-shirt's different right? It's It's got a v-neck, it's a low cut. I'm usually, well maybe not so much today but I'm very like, I usually wear like normal round necks I'm very I don't say like I'm conservative because that's not the case at all but I, I rarely get my boobs out basically just because I don't um, but anyway in this one I do and also I can definitely wear it with this bra that I've got on this bra is from Urban Outfitters this is attached to my bra if you're wondering um but yeah I just really liked it and you know it's stripes and I think it'll go really nice with high-waisted black jeans and like a bright red lip I can be like super Parisian um but yeah anyway and this was on sale I think it was like 12 pounds so I like it. Do -do -do -do. And then I've got two more clothing items. That's four. Two more clothing items. Um, and they're both from Motel, actually. Motel was a brand that I used to, well, a shop that I used to shop in all the time. They used to have a standalone store in Bristol, which I don't think is there anymore. But anyway, I was on their website. I actually, first of all, saw this dress on ASOS, but it had been sold out in my size for a while. So I thought, I'm just going to go on their website. And it was in stock. Anyway, I got it in the size large because I have a dress from Motel still from eons ago, which is in a medium and it fits, but it doesn't like, it's, it's, it's a bit tight basically is what I'm saying. So I thought, you know what, I'll just size up and it'll be fine. But actually, I definitely think I should have gone for the medium. It's fine. This is what it looks like. It's, I don't know if you can sort of see, it's got like a Peter Pan collar and then it has like attached to the back these two uh, sort of bits of black string. I don't know how to word it. Hang on, let me do this real quick. And then what you're supposed to do is once you've got it all on and up, you tie it around the front like that. And yeah, it's really nice. It's As I said, it's a little bit big for me, I think. Um, and one thing that's a little bit annoying about it, like I don't know if you can sort of see, but this is some of that like, um, I don't want to say like ruched, like stretchy top material. You know the type of thing I'm talking about. Anyway, with this, because um, I've got quite big boobs, like if it like rides up on them, because like my boobs are out here, my stomach's like here, it like goes all the way down, so it makes me look a bit tubs. But if I just make sure to pull it down, it then looks great. Anyway, I actually do really like this. So that sounded like a really bad review, but I just think I should have gone with my gut and gone for the medium rather than go for the large. Anyway, if you can hear, I'm ill as well, by the way, which is ideal. And the last thing that I bought from Motel was this tiger print skirt. Again, I bought this in a large, but I definitely could have gone for the medium. They've actually got a tartan uh, print in this, and I think 
I am te definitely tempted to get it and if I do I'll get it in a medium but what's kind of cool about this because it is a little bit more roomy um, I can tuck like jumpers and stuff in and it's getting you know colder so that will make sense but um, I definitely how I'm planning to wear this is like have like a band like a, basically you can only really wear this with black or white um, and I'm mainly gonna wear it with black um, I just think like a cute little black band tee this on the bottom some thick tights and some nice boots winter outfit right there right moving on to makeup I actually did an order from Colourpop um, I'm really annoyed at myself although I was not to know um, after I placed this order Colourpop ran a promotion for free international shipping um, which is really annoying because you have to pay shipping before they ship it obviously and I thought that would cover the taxes and it didn't which is really annoying but I would definitely I would order from them again because their products are really affordable but I'll wait until they do like another international free shipping promotion and then I will do a big old order which is what I did anyway I actually ordered nine products from uh, Colourpop because I really wanted to try it out and I'd heard such great things and also the main reason that I um, ordered from it is um, I really like Jen Im on YouTube if you haven't watched her she's great anyway she did a collaboration with Colourpop and it was coming towards the end of a collaboration and I had scoped out the Colourpop website before but the last time I did they didn't ship out of the US and Canada I didn't want to longingly look at all their lovely products and not be able to get them anyway so she was like oh my my uh, collections running out soon uh, worldwide shipping and I was like since when did they do worldwide shipping? Anyway, so I picked a couple of things up from her range, so I thought I'd show you those first. I'm pretty sure it her collection's now ended, but I don't know if they do like a while stock last thing. Uh, if they don't, I will put similar shades next down to what I bought from Colourpop because they have so many shades. I'm sure they'll have something that's similar to the limited edition stuff. Anyway, so I bought her whole quad, which is called Je ne sais quad, which is I'm enjoying that. And the shade names are Un Deux Trois and Cat, which is great. Or Capture, however you want to pronounce it. Anyway, so I've actually got Un Deux and Trois on my eyes right now, um, if you're wondering what they look like on. But um, I thought I'd do a little swatch fest of all the Colourpop stuff because I really like it. I really do. Um, I've had this stuff for quite a while, actually. Well, yeah, I've had this stuff for quite a while. So um, I've definitely been able to play around with it. And I want to say I love it all. I think it's great. But I'm going to do a little swatchy swatchy. So first of all, we've got Uh, which is like, uh, which is one of their uh, metallic shades, which is like a nice warm, but not too, but still quite light, um, sort of like highlighty shimmery shade. Then we have De, which is a... They call it a satin, but it's pretty matte, to be honest with you. Um, it's sort of like, as, as you can see, a fucking hit panel. And this is like a almost like burnt, tanny orange colour. Um, I think it's really similar to MAC Texture, if you've ever seen that shade. So that's those two so far. Then what definitely drew me to this collection was Toi, which is a nice sort of wearable deep red. That one, it looks a bit more orange when I've swatched it, but it is red. And then Catcher, which is like a warm toned deep brown, which I must admit is the shade I've used the least, but it's, I definitely think it adds to the collection and helps to deepen things. So this is all the shades here, um, and the formula on all of those, I believe, uh, Catcher is the only one that is considered a matte, although to be fair, uh, Dirt and Toi are very, Mm, like they say they're satin, but I would say they're matte personally. These shadows are fantastic. They are like five dollars each, which works out to be about three pound fifty, which is insane. Anyway, um, and the other piece that I got from the Jen M collection was her lippy stick. Oh, that's the wrong one. Oh, uh, it's one of their lippy sticks in Generation X, which is like their red color. And although what I will say is this collection of eyeshadows is incredibly autumnal, and I definitely think they've missed a trick not having this through autumn because these colors scream autumn but this lipstick to be fair screams summer but let me give this a little swatch for you look at that oh that's anyway to be fair this is the lip color out of the lip colors that i got that i've worn the least mainly because it is such a summer shade and such a statement um and i've been really into like my statement eyes recently so i haven't worn this as much as i should have really but it's it's beautiful speaking of lippy sticks i got another one which is in the shade lumiere now i believe this is part of the kathleen lights collection i didn't get it because i don't watch the kathleen lights videos not for any other reason than i just don't but i'm pretty sure this is to do with her collection and it's a really nice shade so i bought it anyway and this is sort of more of a mauvey purpley 
sort of neutral colour, which looks like that. And then I also bought two of the Ultra Satin uh, Liquid Lipsticks. I got one in Dopey and I got one in Lost. Let me show you Dopey first. Dopey is basically the liquid lipstick version of Lumiere. Um, as you can see, here it is. And it's sort of that purpley, mauvey, neutral colour. Hang on, if I swatch them right next to each other. Yeah, as you can see, they're very similar colours. And then I also got Lost, which is sort of more of a deeper red. And when I first got this through the post, I was like, oh, that's not as sort of deep as I thought it was. But when it dries down, it is a deeper red. But I'll give this one a swatch for you as well. But yeah, and then here is uh, Lost. I'm almost done with ColourPop. I did actually get one of their highlighters and I got the shade Flexitarian, which again, I have on today and this is fantastic. I think people would be worried like because a lot of their products are cream products that they would like disrupt your makeup, like if you've like powdered your skin, but honestly this works basically like a powder, like it doesn't get your foundation underneath going all weird or anything, and I really like it. I really like this colour, it's sort of a quite, it's like stirring on the champagne side, but it's not like too yellow, which I really like, um, because I find like a lot of sort of like champagne highlighters can be quite yellow, but this one I think is still bright, because I'm quite pale, anyway. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, it's down here, but honestly it's beautiful. All this stuff is actually so reasonably priced, um, I'll definitely be shopping with them again, as I said I'm just gonna hold out until uh, they do another international shipping freebie and then I will for sure be bulk buying and I'm sure I'll do another swatch fest. But yes, I'm gonna review uh, all of this on my blog and sort of let you know what I think. As I said, I understand that the Genim stuff isn't available anymore, which is really frustrating because I think it's a beautiful collection, um, but I think I, I can still review the formula and I'm sure um, they're all very good across the board. But yeah, sorry, if I go back to Lost, look, you can see that it's gotten deeper just as I've been sat here. Oh, it's gotten dark. Okay, moving on, I actually ordered something from Space NK and it's from Hourglass and this is one of their I think this is their basically their staple Christmas collection. I can't believe I'm talking about Christmas, but here we are, their main sort of showstopper out of their Christmas collection. This is the Ambient Lighting Edit in Surreal Light. I didn't get the one last year because, I don't know, but something broke me in this year because uh, Space NK were doing a deal on spend 16, get 15 off, I had some indulge points and basically I didn't pay full price for this and I'm gonna say right now, I'm glad that I didn't. The reason being, it is so small, and I've heard other people talk about this, and I know that it's, and people have said it's smaller than you think it's gonna be, but really it is. Hang on, I've got the original ambient lighting sort of lighting palette, which is this one here, which has got three of the ambient lighting powders in it, and if I show you them up side by side, and sort of as you can see, the pans are smaller, um, but you may not know what this size looks like, so I want to show you with something that you've definitely seen before, a bottle cap, to show you how small the pan sizes are, and keep in mind that these are supposed to be blushes and bronzers and powders, like, for your face, and, like, if I hold, I'm just really just fucking this one up in the corner right now, like, that, it's basically the size of a bottle cap, which... It's fine, but if you're paying £69 for this, which is what it is full price, that's a lot of money. And also, one thing I will say, oh, I'm just digging my nails into them, goddamn, apparently I don't want this. The, I don't know if you can sort of see, this, this one here is supposed to be sort of like the all over ambient lighting powder. And then this year, I believe they brought out something called their strobing powders, which are more like highlights. And I don't know if you can sort of see, in the pan, the highlighter is more is a deeper tone than the all over face powder, which to me doesn't make sense. Um, I understand that this isn't obviously just geared towards my skin tone, thank goodness, because there are other people in the world, but um, this colour here is not going to be a highlighter for me at all. Like that is too orange and dark. Like if I put this on top of my cheekbones, it just look weird. And But it's strange that if they've got that as the highlighter, but they've got this as the finishing powder, which is can, you can see it's lighter, and I, I saw it even before buying it, and um, I thought, oh, it would be fine. <laughs> but actually, I would probably use this as the highlighter, the bigger one, as opposed to 
what's intended to be the highlighter which is fine but it's just something to note and what I think I'm gonna do instead of using these shades separately I think I'm just gonna give it a big old swirl and pop it on my cheek which is actually what I've done today so if you're wondering sort of what my blush is it's a mixture of all four of these but um I mean it's a nice collector's piece and it looks really nice but like look like it's it's tiny it's I mean it's good that it's small because it's easier to travel with and all that stuff but for 70 pounds full price like I'm so glad that I got this I think I paid I think I paid like 50 pounds which is still a lot of money but yeah so I've got this I'm gonna fully review it and give it hopefully as most of an uh, objective uh, review of this I want it because the thing is the reason I bought this is I wanted to, re to review it before Christmas on my blog so that you know if I think it's a good gift then I could recommend it but yeah, anyway, so there's that. And last but not least, I made an order for Kat Von D stuff. If you have been under a rock, you may or may not know that Kat Von D has come to the UK. I like how they sent me a little pamphlet saying, oh look, Kat Von D makeup is now in the UK. Like, I didn't just order a bunch of Kat Von D stuff. Anyway, so I've actually only got three items. I definitely think I'm gonna be buying more. But this is what I got in my first order. First of all, I got a new tattoo liner. Mine is, I, okay, first of all, I fucking love this eyeliner. It's the best eyeliner I have tried. And I've been using it solidly for two years. Um, and I know I've sung its praises before and quite frankly, I don't think I'll ever be done telling people how amazing this liner is. Um, one thing I don't think I've ever said, um, I heard somebody else who was talking about this liner say this. Oh my god, here comes the sun. I'm literally like being like set on fire. One thing that I heard somebody else say, which I completely agree with about this liner, is it like dies gracefully. It's a slow but a dignified death that this eyeliner has. Like it's not just like one day you get it out and it's like dried up and doesn't work. It like, it basically just like slowly stops performing as well. Like I'd feel like, but even when it's like sort of at the end of its life, it still performs better than other eyeliners when they're in their prime, if that makes sense. Anyway, this eyeliner is fantastic. So I picked myself up a new one and I love it. Um, another product that I haven't got in this color, but I've tried this formula before is the Everlasting Lip Liquid Lipstick. And I bought the shade Lolita 2, which if you're wondering is what I've got on my lips right now. Hang on, I'll give this a little swatcheroo there's that one there um as you may be able to tell from the previous lipsticks that i got when i go for neutral colors usually i go for like more like mauve purpley tones um but this one's definitely a lot more autumn appropriate um so that's why i've got it on right now i think it goes really well with the uh color pop shadows that i've got on as well i'm just i'm just enjoying this makeup look today and yeah so i actually also as i said i've tried this formula before i've got a couple of the everlasting liquid lipsticks um, I've got Lolita and oh god what's it called Double Dare and yeah so I wanted to add another one to my uh, collection and this is the colour I am for and I'm really happy with it. If you have tried these lipsticks by the way let me know if there's any that you like the shade of because I haven't tried any of the brighter ones I've always stayed in sort of the neutral family. What I love about Kat Von D is because her look is more alternative she has some beautiful like deeper colours um, and I'm definitely tempted to try some so if you've got a favorite color let me know and leave that down below Woo! and last but not least I have um basically the reason that I got this product it is the setting the locket setting powder since Kat Von D has come to the, the UK obviously I've seen a bunch of other videos of people talking about what they've picked up and what they've loved and this product is the thing that I've sort of seen stand out the most like people do talk about the lipsticks and do talk about the liner but I've heard a lot of people start talking about the setting powder which comes like this. I have used it today and so far so good. You know, this is, I, this literally came today before I filmed this video. One thing about loose powders, this is all loose powders, not just this one. They're not very travel friendly um, or like makeup bag friendly. They're definitely like do your makeup at home type products, but so far it's good. And yeah, I just wanted to give it a go because this is the product that I've heard a lot of people talk about. So I wanted to give it a go. Anyway, that is everything from me today. I hope you are having a fabulous day, whatever you are doing. Um, as I said, if there's any, any actually recommendations, it doesn't just have to be everlasting liquid lipstick recommendations, leave those down below. Um, subscribe if you haven't. Also in the description box are all my social media links if you want to see what I'm up to on more of a regular basis. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I shall see you soon. Bye. 
I really would just appreciate if my neighbours just didn't listen to shitty music so loud.